I was lucky enough to be a witness of a period in Russia's history when it was reinventing itself, one of those crucible periods when everything goes into meltdown and a new Russia comes up or not. My first book covered the years 1988 to 90, the last years of communism, when Gorbachev was in power and opening things up. It was a wonderful book to write. The eyes of the world were on Russia. All Russians wanted to know you. And then communism came to an end. That's when I started this book, in 1992. It begins when everyone in Russia was in a state of total shock. They just lost an ideology, they'd lost an entire way of life, suddenly gone. And it ends 16 years later when Russia is flush with petrodollars and then sliding into global recession. It reads like a novel, but every word of it's true. It was a very strange time in Russia because people were grappling with a void. A whole way of life, a whole set of beliefs had gone and they didn't know how to do anything. They didn't know how to work once the party wasn't telling them how to do it. They didn't know what to believe in, what Russia was if it wasn't a communist power. People were reinventing themselves. The story I've got to tell is hinged on a number of characters who personify different aspects of this reinvention. I've only changed just a few names to give people a little bit of privacy. There's young Misha, who was an engineer in the old Soviet days. And when communism fell, he started selling chewing gum and soft drinks. But his dream was to be a big manufacturer. He pulled off that dream, but he paid a heavy price for it. There was my friend Anna, passionately in love with the idea of democracy. She was prepared to give her life to see the coming of democracy in Russia. When that dream failed, she went through a terrible depression. Then there was Natasha, the golden girl, daughter of a weapons manufacturer. Vera ran away from her husband, joined a cult in the wilds of Siberia. Different readers are going to get different things out of it. For some people, I hope, a very good read. For people who are interested in Russia, what I've tried to do is tell the history of a country from the bottom up. Because I know that when you read in the newspapers about Putin and the oligarchs, this is not Russia. Russia is happening elsewhere. It's happening much more interestingly in the struggles of ordinary people to come to terms with this terrible past and very difficult present.